Um, but there there was an interview um, on a Breakfast Club a few years back with Johnny Gill. He was um, he was saying that he was experiencing colorism uh, from you and your family. Now, your brother at the time when that interview came out, right before that interview, I think he had uh, fire back and and you know said some things, but. Um, but can we get a clear statement or just kind of set the record straight and I'm just toss that up and however you want to answer it. But, uh, what, I guess, what was, what was that all about? And was that a false representation of how things were? Because there were some things mentioned that he stated, you know, about the color of his skin and things of that nature. And, but, but what, what was that about? And was that a false, was that a false representation? Okay. So you're talking about the new edition biopic. Yeah, that was uh, that was a uh, like a couple seconds that's, mentioned in there. That's yeah. that's that's how it happened. That's yeah. that's how it began, right? Yeah. So, long story short, uh, I actually did not watch the mm. new edition biopic. Um, okay, it, it it just I didn't I didn't see it, but my phone began to ring. I'm sure. I think it was a three day, three day. Uh, yeah, show. it was a three day yeah. show, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. yeah. So the second show is when um, the comments were made, mm -hmm. the accusations were made. And um, so I, I'll never forget one of my friends called me, it was like five o'clock in the morning. And one of my friends was like, Stacey, did you see, did you hear what Boogie said about you? And I was like, no, cause I didn't watch the new edition biopic. What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, she was like, Boogie accused you and your mother of being racist. And um, I was like, what? Are you kidding me? Because it was like, she said that he, uh, one of the, I think it was Ralph on yeah. the show, had yeah. asked them about what had happened mm -hmm. um, between us. And uh, he kind of grabbed at his skin like that. And yeah, was, it was like emotion. He was implying that it was because of his skin color uh that was the reason why i broke off the relationship i broke off the relationship let me say that one more time i broke off the relationship uh it clearly was not about the color of his skin mm -hmm. uh as everyone can see my husband is dark skin my daughter-in-law is dark skin I have members of my family. That's that your husband, right? Dark, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have members of my family that are dark skin. Um, I have friends from all walks of life. I have uh, homosexual friends. I have uh, Caucasian friends. I have um, Japanese friends. I, I have friends, like I said, from all walks of life. I'm, I'm not judgmental. Right. I don't judge people by the color of their skin, their religion, their creed, their color. Right. Um, I never have been a judgmental person. Um, and, I, and I choose not to share why I broke off the relationship. And, and, and that's all right. To, I don't want to... Uh, the way that the way that he did it was wrong. It was disrespectful. Um, it was hurtful. I cried for several nights because I literally had to go on social network and block some people because there were there was a guy in particular that said to me, "You you owe us an explanation." Why did you break up with him? And and I actually talked to a few of my peers, a mm -hmm. few of my pastor friends, mm -hmm. and I was trying to get their opinion about it. Should I tell the truth about why I broke up with him mm -hmm. or do I remain silent? And I got kind of mixed, mixed, mixed reviews, reviews, opinions, yeah. you know, because some of them were like, you need to clear it up and, and tell, tell the truth about why you broke up with him. And then there were some of my friends, um, peers that, that told me to remain silent. So I had a tough decision to make. 
and it's been what five years i would say since the, since, yeah, since the new about, edition biopic about, about five years just about yeah was aired yeah. um but i chose to remain silent because i'm the kind of person i don't ban i i, I don't knock people's character i i don't i don't bash people you know what i'm saying because i i have some things that i could share with the world right about him right okay but because i believe in character and i believe in integrity um i'll just say this mm-hmm. hurt people hurt people absolutely okay and I, and, and I did reach out to him. I will say that as well. I reached out to him after it was aired. I texted him mm-hmm. and I asked him, um, hey, bless you, Robinson, Tiara, Tra- 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 Yes, they popped up in the comments. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, 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 like I said, I texted him and I asked him the question. I said, why would you, you know, put that out there like that? Millions of people saw that. You know, and I even talked to an attorney, yeah. you know, and I, and I said, so because BET never even, you know, got my permission to, wow. to use that. They they just totally, totally disrespected me as well. Mm. Um, and I was told by an attorney that it would take roughly six figures for them to go back and um, remove that part in the show. Right. Mm. Because that was really a defamation of character, yeah. is what they did. They yeah. they accused me and my mother of being racist. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I just don't want to share with the world why I broke right. up with him. You know, I, I don't want to bash his character the way he did. Not, he tried to do mine, you know. Um, I don't want people, you know, to look at him any differently. You know, even though he tried to hurt me. Mm. Guess what? God says, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. This is Deontay Carroll, host of Turn Up the Volume Podcast. Listen, do me a favor. If you like this video, do yourself a favor and hit the subscribe button. Also, tap the bell and turn on all of your notifications to see this and more interviews and more shows from my podcast right here on my YouTube page. So, y'all hit that like button, tag, share, and subscribe. Y'all be good.